Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we are back to Please Don't Touch Anything. So I have looked up a walkthrough that will tell me every single answer. Let's resume the game, then start here. So one of the endings that we need to get, and there's a split here in particular between um, the endings that we get versus achievements that we can get. There are 25 endings and only 15 achievements and some of the achievements are not directly related to getting endings. Um, so there's an issue there. There's also certainly an issue with just not being able to read some of the things on the on the table. Like right now, I can see the 666 and the star, but right just slightly to the top left of the red button, there's what looks like three numbers that I can't really read. Um, there, there's definitely one major thing I never figured out, and because of that, uh, that, that has limited my progress. So... There's potentially two scenarios here where you either are going to hit a frustration point in Rage Quit, which would probably be the right response here, or you're going to look up the answer, or in a very, I guess there is a potential third scenario which the game developer hoped people would, would do, which would be to... Uh, simply not not look up the answer but keep banging your head against the wall trying to find out the solutions uh, I imagine in the first couple weeks when streamers were streaming this this was would have been really popular something that a twitch audience or a YouTube audience in the chat would try and help you with different combinations um, and there are a lot of references to other games and such in this so that would be really interesting also uh, but most players now are either going to look up a walkthrough or rage quit and so there, there's a lack of sustained value in a game like this so we're looking for the um, the first ending is just to wait to this uh, but if you wait an extra three minutes after the guy comes back, you'll get the Aragophobia achievement. So three minutes starting now, and we might as well just go through the other achievements, um, as I'm just not going to click anything at this point and hope that that's what it means. Uh, uh, instead of this you can also get the l just logo achievement by clicking the button in the pause screen which I'm pretty sure I've already done the second ending is to simply press the button 20 times we've done that um, pressing the button once unlocks the disobedience achievement the mushroom ending we already got but you press the button to reveal the switch, you flip the switch, and then you press it. Uh, the problem with this Steam walkthrough is that everything is blacked out, so you have to highlight it. And that's kind of a frustrating, unnecessary. So the first ending that we haven't gotten is called the Satanic Ending. And what we need to do is press the red button twice to reveal a three button uh, the three button panel and then we're supposed to look at the instruction mill poster and there you're supposed to look at the instruction poster do you see a ladder because I see something Romans built instead hint hint it, there, it there's Roman numerals in on the instruction poster that's gonna help you in future endeavors and this walkthrough goes in like it gives you a hint and then it tells you the full thing if you rotate the lines on the right side 90 degrees clockwise it'll give you what you need 
And at that point, if I had figured that out, which I don't think I ever would have, it would have said you're supposed to put in in the button panel one three two two three one which had I really tried to brute force up to that that would have taken me at least an hour by the way there is an achievement that has to be done exactly at midnight as of recording right now it's 11 at night in my time zone so I guess I could probably do another recording uh, and try and get that but there is a perfectionist achievement which makes you get all which requires you to get all of the endings without hitting any buttons uh, in, in mistake so even following the walkthrough I don't think I could do that that's insane uh, yeah that that's a really crazy idea and and uh, so I'm not going to get the perfectionist achievement. So this, and that, that's the problem with a lot of these cheap puzzle games is that a lot of times, even though they seem cheap and they seem easy and that you would just get all the achievements really easily, they, they throw in that perfectionist achievement, which would really make you spend an extra four or five hours trying to get something done. Um, for instance, the city bombing minigame, you've got to get that done too for the perfectionist achievement on the first try uh, without hitting any ex wrong buttons maybe you can hit wrong buttons in the city bombing uh, we've gotten the fifth ending which is the we are watching uh, Illuminati ending um, <clears throat> and the Illuminati ending Illuminati ending has symbols on the corners which then play a role, a role in a different ending the rest of the endings all pretty much involve me putting in the code that I didn't figure out to reveal a new lever that doesn't that plays a major part uh, in most of the other endings we have a just to say the names, we have a Back to the Past ending is the sixth ending, Back to the Future is the seventh ending, Yin Yang ending uh, is the eighth ending, Black Hole ending is the ninth ending, The Bender from Futurama ending is the tenth ending, Space Invaders ending is the eleventh ending, Asteroid ending is the twelfth ending. Um, just knowing the names of these endings might have been a hint but they're not really 13th ending is a Cthulhu ending 14th ending is the panda ending 15th ending is the city boom ending uh, which city boom is the mini game 16th ending is the bloody baby ending which you have to do that without clicking anything wrong either uh, so one try for those 17th ending is the Darth uh, Death Star ending and the Death Star ending is the one that requires you to play it at midnight 18th ending is the Happy Demon ending 19th ending is the Sandworm ending uh, 20th ending is the Stanley Parable ending um, this here and you just have to hit only the new buttons is the trick uh, 21st ending is a papers please ending 22nd ending is a earthquake question mark ending 23rd ending is a Pluto question mark ending. 24th ending is the ocean ending. And the 25th ending is the coffee ending. Which, that would be the irony of all ironies, as if uh, this machine really was just designed to give coffee and you were just somehow uh, manipulating it so badly that you would... Uh, you're blowing up the world each time so it's been over three minutes and I haven't clicked anything so the the only thing that I could 
think is if maybe you have to go through all the dialogue and not click anything for another three minutes at this point uh, where after the dialogue has happened maybe maybe not L let's let's see I can just quickly come over here um, I don't see anything that indicates to me that that ending unlocked but that may not mean anything because Steam achievements don't really unlock that fast they unlock when you exit the game so you get to this this is supposed to be the Roman numerals on the side I really don't see I really don't see it like it's just too small everything's so small maybe this would be better played on uh, on a cell phone just because you could get you're likely to be able to look closer uh, but then, then again I desperately need to to rearrange how I play games I need a computer monitor a nice big like curved monitor that's right in front of my face and I don't have a setup that really works for that so the thing and we're just gonna memorize this real fast to one three two two three one one unlocks this and by unlocking this we now have unlocked a significant more endings um, so here we have don't do it so pull the lever um, to the left and that gives you a 10 digit panel like I don't understand though like you can't pull this to the right so you, you get a pick here um, so the 10 digit panel now let's see so this code is just the numbers in this code which would be the 8 here the 3 here the 6 and the 7 so you don't really do the math you just pull the numbers 8 3 and 6 and 7 and then that unlocks more and I knew there was more to this and now you're Now we have to draw a pentagram in the like this 666 here and this pentagram here I guess are supposed to be the indicator so the fourth position click that then skip a line and then the first and last position and then skip all the lines and then the second to last second to first and second to last position and that's the demonic ending uh, and you don't get anything else it's just that's it Okay. The fifth achievement we've already done, it's the Illuminati ending. So we can skip that. So then the sixth achievement is let's see. It is the back to the past ending. Which one three two two three one again we pull this to the left frankly what needed to happen in this is once you click the button once and nothing happened 
and then you clicked it twice and the switch appeared. I don't believe there's any more endings a after that point. And once you've done the don't, uh, the, the don't touch anything endings. So if the game had kind of a rewind animation and you just rewound back to the point where you, you it would tell you, look, there's no more endings. You've done this, you've done it fine. That would help the perfection achievement in particular also. Um, I don't believe this 42 here, like we can kind of see the 42 is because of the poster behind it being blocked by this. Um, so there is a hint there to some possible ending, but I'm not going to do that. 8, 2, let's see. Now it wants me to do 8, 2, 3, 2, which is 8 squared, 3, 2. 8, 2, 3, 2. And that brings about this. And then press the left button to go to the past. And now we're in the past. And that's that. Yeah. So it should be pretty easy to figure out what we're doing now. Let's see. So to the future we go. And now we have a picture of Back to the Future. And it's just ever so slightly different. Like decayed and the blown up moon. So those endings are pretty simple. Let's see. The yin yang ending. Five, six, seven, eight off one he has dragged the screwdriver to the top right panel to reveal the four colored buttons so this one again is just not my it's it's just because I can't really read it here it says grab um, GRAB and then GRBB and so it's simply green, red, blue, blue. Green, red, blue, blue. That's all that was. And this is a yin yang ending. What is this even supposed to, to be? Like, I, I don't get it. I don't see what I'm saying. It seems like they flipped the image upside down and inverted it. So did I flip the world and invert it? So just now we've unlocked the paper please ending and there is a passport here. I don't want to do that yet. We want to do the black hole ending. We'll just go in order. This is pretty much just going to be the uh, a walkthrough playthrough at this point. Alright, so for the black hole ending, pull to the left still and enter the code 8367, which would be up here. Again, eight, three, six, seven. The instructions on the poster are wrong. It's one, two, four, three. Yeah, there's all kinds of little hints here that you, you could easily overlook. Um, 
So one, two, four, three on this panel here. And that just makes a black hole. Okay. Why would you build a machine that could do all this? Next is the Bender from Futurama. And while I am a fan of Bender from Futurama, Futurama is pretty old at this point, so I could forgive people not immediately recognizing this or thinking of Bender from Futurama. Uh, let's see. Pull the lever this time for the first time to the right. And see, here we have Bender uh, thinking binary. So the colored dots next to the word work are where this comes in, uh, in binary. And blue is a zero for no reason. Binary has never been zero is blue and one is red. That makes no sense at all. If anything, uh, zero would be black and one would be white. And zeros and ones in a binary pixel, uh, it would then be the address of that binary pixel, whether it was a red pixel, blue pixel, or green pixel, or whatever color pixel. Uh, or if you have a pixel byte, it would be what position that, that zero or one is to determine whether it was talking about red, blue, or green. So, computer science-wise, this makes no sense. So, and, and a programmer who made this game should have recognized that. This, this is a really crazy one, uh, frankly. But the solution uh, seems to be 001001, um, which might be a direct quote from something that was said in Futurama, come to think of it. Brute forcing this in binary may not have taken a ton of time, but it still would have been really difficult. Binder, known for screaming destroy all humans, or kill all humans, yep. Um, probably didn't have the copyright for this, so I don't know if this is a fair use parody or not to, to reference a game like this, but may, maybe they did get permission. That's a possibility, at least. And Bender does not look anything like this robot. He looks very much like that. So. Next ending is the Space of Ender Invaders ending. And you can see why so many of these I couldn't find. Oops, I just clicked the wrong thing. Let's see. Press the top left button, the top right button twice, the top left button again for a newly revealed panel. Let's see. So I guess it's supposed to be top this. We're following these instructions. Then. Space Invaders ending with an Atari Space Invader. Okay. We haven't gotten the um, we haven't gotten the City Bomber challenge in a while. Next we have the Asteroid ending. And we have about five minutes. We, we need to go a little long if we're going to get into min midnight. So, again, at this point, I don't think there is an ending that does not involve getting to at least here. So, a rewind mechanic just to start every reset with us being here would save a lot of time. 
Um, and you're, it's not like they're really stretching the game out to a point where we'd spend five, six, ten hours on this game anyways. So, uh, a little convenience would be appreciated. Alright, so for the asteroid ending, we pull this to the left. We do eight, three, six, seven again. And then one, two, one, one. Which I guess is supposed to be the number in this. I don't know how you would calculate that so that it would have been one, two, one, one. Though. Mm. Number three, one poster isn't finished. There's a one, but then there's a, there is a one, 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 so we know there's is two ones, so logically the answer is one, two, one, one. I don't get it. Like, if this didn't say, if this didn't have an equal sign, and it was one equals one, one, and then two, one equals one, two, one, and maybe, but... Yeah, I, I don't even get the pattern recognition here. Maybe I'm I'm not thinking straight enough or something. A game like this certainly could twist your brain and not. But whatever, the walkthrough says it's one, two, one, one. Okay. And this is a look and say sequence where each number is the result of saying the previous number, starting with one. One, one, two, ones, one, two, one, one. Oh, I would have never thought of that. It's, so you have to say it out loud to figure it out. So if you say, I see one, two, one, one, that's how you get it. And then if you say, I see, Two, one, one, two. One, two, two ones. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Wow. Let's see. The keyboard makes it a similar sound. Each key makes a tone that can you hear here and the looping music. Press the keys in this order. So that we have a musical thing here. And I'm terrible, so I would never get this in a million years. It's like, so it's three, three, two, one, 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 two, three. I would never get that. Like, yeah, I hear the the ding, but I, I also don't, I, I, would, I would just never figure that out. And that was the asteroid ending, which gave us a Ghostbuster poster. All right. Next, we have the Cthulhu ending. I really feel like you should have been able to find these endings a lot easier, uh, but... Frankly, I did run into the wall of not finding the lever. So, because I didn't find the lever, that I never got this far. Uh, and frankly, the game probably at this point should rewind just to this, because I don't know if there's any more endings where you pull the lever to the right, even. Uh, Press the button to get the screwdriver. And I don't know if that means you have to... Uh, you 
if you have to do it in this specific order or if you could have just hit the, the button eight times. Drag the screwdriver to the wires connecting the monitor to the console to reveal a nine digit display. What? Don't do it sign looks like it might be held by some tape. What? Drag the screwdriver to the wires connecting the monitor to the console to reveal a nine digit display. Okay, so you have to get the tip of it. And here's the nine digit display. The don't do it sign looks like it held. It's held on by some tape. Um, and then we're gonna enter the Fibonacci se sequence. So, one, two, three, four. Rising Leonardo. Okay. So where do we put in the code? I guess we have to put it in here. It's zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, and then thirteen. In case you don't know what the Fibonacci sequence is, zero, well usually you don't include zero in my opinion. I've never heard zero included. So it's you start with one, then you add the two numbers uh, together to get the next result. So start with one, then you wouldn't have had a number before then. So one plus one equals one, then one plus one equals two, then one plus two equals three, then one plus uh, two plus three equals five, three plus five equals eight, and then five plus eight equals 13. Why that would summon Cthulhu, I don't know, and this really doesn't look like much of a Cthulhu, and that doesn't look like much of a Cthulhu either, so, yeah, that's a little weird. So, here we are at 30 minute point, and could go a little bit over and it probably is a good idea so let's do the panda e ending and then that'll be the end of this recording we'll do one more re recording trying to get the rest of the endings probably almost certainly not getting all of the achievements even if I just had the perfection achievement I don't think it's really worth the time to walk through the entire walkthrough and try to do all the endings and then fail miserably when I have to do the city bombing uh, mini game, which uh, I almost certainly would, or fail miserably when we're doing the hammer, the uh, binding of Isaac baby, uh, because you have to get that done on the first try. I don't think you have to really click every single thing accurately, but but I, I really just don't know how tight the restriction on the perfection achievement is and I, I don't think it's worth the effort um, it's questionable if many people um, it is really really questionable if many people even got to this point frankly um, in the game it's just like Without cheating, without using a walkthrough, I I, I kind of doubt it. And it's, again, no no need to reset us back to the beginning, frankly. Uh, all right, so a panda ending. Press it three times to press a twist to re reveal the numbers. 
and then that's one, three, two, two, three, one, and then press the button bottom right and then bottom left twice and then bottom right and bottom right again. Uh, why? Where would I be getting this information to hit, hit put in this? The correct on the poster isn't right side up. What? Correct. What poster are they talking about? Like, seriously, what? There, there is no word here that I see that says correct. Oh! This is correct upside down, so if we right, turn that upside down in our head, which if you were playing this on your phone, you'd have to turn off audio rotation to do that. So it's these aren't even numbers, These are, this is a word. So then bottom right button, and then bottom left twice, and then bottom right again. Let's see, follow the diagonal arrows on the instruction poster, look at them upside down to see correct is on the top. So, there's an achievement for doing 276 button presses. So, how we would do that in one minute, I have no idea, but that's what we need to do. So, and it does say right here, 276. So let's see if we can do this. The, the problem with this is this doesn't seem likely to happen. So this is another one of those achievements that's just kind of unlikely to happen. And what happens if I go over? Like that, that is insane. I, I think the good news is we you only use this little widget once, so you, I don't think we're ever gonna have to do this a second, second time. Uh, but I wouldn't put it past a game like this to, to force you to do something like this twice just to waste your time. Uh, even AAA games have gotten pretty bad about uh, pretty bad about forcing you to waste your time. So a bunch of plants grew up and that's the panda achievement. Okay. So that's the perfect point to uh, to end this, I would say, because there's, let's see, this ending is the City Boom ending, which I don't know if I'd ever get. Uh, this ending is the Baby ending which I don't know how you'd ever have figured that out. After doing so many endings that required you to get the lever, to figure out that there was an ending that didn't require you to get the lever, it would be kind of crazy. So, the next thing would be the Death Star ending, uh, which is 11.59.55, so, it's about 20 minutes from where, as I'm recording, so we'll have to do all the other endings beyond that, uh, and then just kill some time. Yeah. So yeah, we we made a lot of progress. This is way more progress than I think we would. A, a normal player would get 
uh, and these later endings seem like they're just going to get more and more complicated. Uh, that's going to be it for this recording now. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. You know what I'll do is I'm going to wait till I get the don't touch anything achievement off screen and then leave the game running for about three minutes after that point if I don't have that achievement um, just so I can have most of the achievements even though I'm almost certainly not going to get all of them if you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box and if you want to support me even further there's a link to patreon or you can friend me on Steam and gift me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.